Hey guys, welcome to Mojo Grip Mike here. Thank you for joining me today. So in today's video, we're going to talk about spin. Why airplanes go into a state of spinning out of control. Full disclaimer guys, before I move on with this video, I do want to say that everything that I talk about in this video is meant for viewership and entertainment purpose only. They are not to be taken as fact and they're based on my own personal understanding of the subject matter. Make sure you double check using your own resources. Okay, now in demonstrating some of the points I'm going to talk about, I will be using my beat up cub crafters here. And so what is a spin? A spin generally occurs in an airplane when the airplane's wings stall first. All right, a stall always precedes or precedes a spin. All right, and a stall is basically when you hit or exceed your critical angle of attack. And a spin also generally happens during a turn, maybe a steep turn, where one wing stalls first and then possibly the other wing stalls and now you have the airplane spinning out of control. So a brief history on spin actually, until 1949, it was part of your requirement as a pilot to train for spin. So if you were getting a pilot's license, spinning an airplane was part of your training. But after 1949, that procedure was eliminated. For different reasons it could be you know the FAA just thought perhaps we don't need it right if you're not an aerobatic pilot then you wouldn't really need it to spin an airplane except God forbid you get into trouble right also it's a pretty complex procedure to do and can be dangerous okay so we've already talked about how a spin happens in an airplane but remember always keep in mind that if you find yourself as a pilot in a situation where the airplane spins and you have enough altitude, say you're high up from the ground, you're still in control of that aircraft. All right, so don't get to a state where the airplane spins and you just gave up, okay? So even if the airplane spins, you are still in control and you can correct that situation. So how do you recover from a spin? To recover from a spin, there's a procedure called PAIRED. And PAIRED is spelled P-A-R-E-D. P stands for power, a stands for ailerons. These are your ailerons on your airplanes. This little flappy things right here, these are your ailerons, all right? R stands for rudders. These are your rudders on your airplane. And E stands for elevators. These are your elevators on the airplane. And then D stands for recovering from the dive. All right, so while I've used that to exemplify your control surfaces, now remember that a spin is basically two problems. It's two problems that you're trying to resolve. One problem is the spin. The second problem is the stall. And remember, you needed to stall the airplane before it goes into a spin. So in order to recover, you have to solve both of those problems to get back into a safe level flight. Now, paired, how do you apply that? P stands for power. So if whenever an airplane is spinning, the first thing you do is you pull the power back, all the way back, pull that thing to idle. Now your ailerons, your ailerons com controls your turns or your bank turns. If you put your aileron one way or the other, your airplane goes like this or like this. That's what an aileron does. And so guess what? When your airplane, say you turn like this and this wing stalls, your natural reaction as a pilot, as shown in this video, your natural reaction could be to pull up and try to put the opposite ailerons in. Guess what? When you do that, you're only adding to the problem. Because remember, one wing is already stalled. If you try to recover with the other wing, you're just adding more load. So the best thing to do in a situation of a spin is not to add the opposite aileron. You basically move your aileron to neutral. Meaning you don't move it right, you don't move it left. You put it to neutral, that way none of those control surfaces on the wing is doing anything. All right, that's the second thing you do. The next thing you do is you apply the opposite rudder. So as I showed you before, this is your rudders, right? Whenever you, you, you step on your rudders, this is what it controls. And essentially, what your rudder does, is it controls your yaw. And when you deflect it one way or another, your airplane nose goes this way or this way. So assuming that your airplane is nosedive and spinning, it's spinning this way, when you apply the opposite rudder, right remember your your rudder controls the direction of the nose you basically apply a balanced force to bring the airplane back the other way that way 
the spin will stop. So with those three actions, power, ailerons, and rudder, you basically solve the spin problem, all right? But remember, you have two problems to solve. You have to stall the spin problem, and then you also have to stop a stall problem. So, so say you're here, you've already recovered from the spin, but your nose is still facing down. Instead of pulling up and risk installing the airplane again, you're actually advised to push further down, push the nose further down, so that way you don't pull up and then stall the airplane again. So you shove your elevator forward to avoid stalling the airplane again. And then once you do that, then you can recover from the dive. You can start gradually kind of resetting everything, putting your power back in, pull up slightly, and then get the airplane back to a normal flying position. And that's how you recover from a spin, guys. So I hope you learned something new. If you did and you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos. And remember to hit that notification bell. That way you know every single time that I upload a new video. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next video. Peace.